Hello Cancer, this is Solomon. I want to welcome you to your weekly reading for the week of March the 20th to the 26th of 2017. So I would like to invite you to check out your March 2017 monthly reading, which will be in the description of this video if you haven't done so already, which will let you know the energies that you could have been fa facing emotionally this month and you know what you could be experiencing towards the end, okay? So from March the 21st, the sun will be in Aries activating your 10th house of career, public status, career goals, new opportunities and activities within your community by providing your talents in an outward expression, all right? So we're gonna tap into Monday through Wednesday. The moon will be in Capricorn. It's activating your seventh house of relationships, marriage, business partnerships, one-on-one -on -one relationships where you're looking for fairness. There could be some extremely hard work around this time where you're devoting yourself into your obligations and um, you know, within these few days with that Capricorn energy. So we have here the full in reverse, the Four Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, Justice in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Chariot as a major arcana in the upright position. So for a lot of you, there's these uh, feelings, I'll say if you're um, dealing with someone, say a romantic relationship, and the spark is completely gone, and you are aware of this, and you know this, but you are staying in this relationship um, because you have a fear of uh, moving on into something new and you may not even trust yourself enough to uh, start to kind of make progress because you know that you have to clear out the past energies before you kind of move into this new relationship. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Some of you could be dealing with another Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries as well. But I do feel like there's a lot of fear of the unknown right now and because of that, uh, you know, that crab uh, kind of uh, personality where you want to maybe hide or seclude yourself or not really face up to some issues that you have been dealing with. A lot of you could be having issues with, you know, um, healing. You know, there may be you may need a bit more time of healing as you let go of someone, as you let go of whatever a uh, scenario that you could be around, whatever environment or place. It could be a job. It could be just a living environment where you need to kind of move on to get away from uh, being around someone who you, if you're around them, they could bring up a lot of bad memories and things like that. So I do feel like for a lot of you with justice in reverse, there could have been some uh, lies, some cheating going on, some uh, clearly um, negative energy when it comes to maybe disrespect or dishonesty with another person where there's not a lot of um, harmony and truthfulness because there needs to be that kind of balance you need to re and rebalance the skills so to speak when it's you and another person whether you're in a marriage or relationship it could be legal matters that you're happy with someone with the ace of wands in reverse you know ideas um could have been coming to you about how to approach a new relationship or a job whatever it may be even if you are in the entertainment industry or um you're working towards some kind of goals you're trying to achieve or trying to manifest money in some way. If you have been dealing with any legal matters or signing documents and things like that, there could have been some risk taking there where there could have been some dishonesty with uh, money arrangements, paperwork and signing contracts that you know someone could have been dishonest with that. But I do feel with the chariot here that a lot of you are regaining your composure, your confidence. Maybe some of you are maybe traveling to deal with some of these legal issues or whatever it could be um could be coming up at this time also traveling to go see your partner for some kind of um maybe healing it could be coming to see you you could be just wanting to be around one another to kind of resolve these issues as venus is in retrograde bringing up a lot of love and financial issues and concerns about self-worth but as the chariot is here as a powerful card of having the aggression and the fortitude to um, move on to face what you need to face and get over those obstacles and blockages that you could be dealing with. So um, try to balance things out. And I do feel like you can. And because of that seventh house being there, you know, this is relationship oriented and also business oriented as well. So uh, that's uh, Monday through Wednesday. So Thursday, and Friday, we do have the moon in Aquarius activating your eighth house of death, transformation, rebirth, sex, depth, taxes, legal matters, and joint resources with your partner. You could be healing from the loss of others, healing in relationships, and inner transformation. So 
you know, there is some heavy energy because of that seventh, eighth, and ninth house. So when it gets to these houses, you know, it could be very strong um, emotionally, and a lot of change could be happening. So I feel like this is this is why these energies are showing up in this way. The Emperor's in reverse here as a major arcana. The Ten of Swords is in reverse. The Six of Swords is in reverse. The Two of Swords is in reverse, and the Eight of uh, Wands is in reverse. So, are you dealing with a controlling? kind of partner or controlling boss, uh, you know, in your environment or situation. Because I do feel like a lot of you are having issues. Maybe there are some control issues in your relationship where um, your partner is just uh, sometimes restricting you in some way. You feel restricted. They're not really hearing what you have to say. You know, for some of you, you just could be attached to someone to an extreme level and sometimes not really able to let this person be them. You know, sometimes you can come across as being controlling if you don't allow another person to be who they are in a way. So, you know, there could be competing sides and relationships, you know, um, which direction some of you would like to take uh, when it comes to a choice that you like to make. Some of you have made a choice, but you feel like you've made a bad choice or the wrong choice or that you will make a wrong choice or decision if you do have more than one option to choose from right now and some of you may be stuck and you may be at an impasse because you can't really make a decision just yet because that path that uh direction or you know the road is not completely clear as to the outcome of the situation so it's almost like you have to uh, go go on blind faith in which direction you'd like to go and you know, because of that, you're not really sure. So some of you are, you know, getting those cold feet. So these are causing issues with texting. You know, you could be blocked from your partner. You blocked someone else because you're just not ready yet. Or they may be too aggressive with you in trying to change your or wanting to force you to make up your mind in some way. Or, you know, you could be doing this to another person. But I do feel like uh, whatever the emperor is in reverse, this could be someone who's around you, an authority figure who is um, very uh, just not willing to let up on their stance in whatever situation that you're going through or dealing with. If someone is uh, doing something and they say if they're in the household and they're you know making a lot of noise or whatever it may be and you ask them to kind of you know relax, you know, calm down or turn the music down or something like that and they're like, no, you know, I'm not doing that or they continue to provoke you in a way or in a relationship where another person is constantly flirting with others or doing things to kind of provoke you in a way and you let them know about it, they're not trying to hear about it. So, you know, that can come through as, you know, being controlling, always wanting things to work out in their way. So, you know, having your cake and eat it too kind of situation. So some of you could be dealing with that kind of scenario, which is causing a lot of healing, a lot of uh, pain. You know, um, you can see the swords are here, a lot of them. And uh, there is a lack of closure. The ten of swords is in reverse. You know, so some of you are just having issues with moving on from certain hurts and pains and patterns of behavior from someone else or, you know, from uh, which you have been dishing out to others. So just be mindful of that kind of energy. So that's Thursday and Friday. So for Saturday and Sunday, we do have the moon in Pisces activating your ninth house of mental exploration, long distance travel, possibly road trips could be coming up. And then you do have higher philosophy where you could be studying, reading, writing or whatever that may be. So we have the six of wands in reverse. The five of cups is in reverse. The queen of wands is in reverse, along with justice in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. So here again, it looks like to me that there's some imbalance you know with the libra some of you with uh that aries Leo sagittarius and maybe you are desiring tension from them this is a time where you just could be on social media and you could be just you know going all out and you're trying to get or attract a romantic partner in whatever way that you can because you're unhappy with this person you're not getting the attention from this person that you desire there maybe you want to marry this person or vice versa someone wants to get a connection going with you but they've hurt you many times before you've hurt them many times before and now there are you know delays with you know the desire to forgive and move on it's like you really want to do it but you can't or someone else doesn't seem to be able to forgive you and they constantly bring up these uh, bad memories or what has happened with someone where there could have been cheating. There could have been, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, dishonesty or gossip going on. And 
and now you know there's a sense of uh you know this is not going to work you know i feel like you know, this could be like karma you know catching up with you or another person in some way if you are just being honest with yourself about what has been done in this situation where there um you know the justice card in reverse you know what is that what is that meaning you know lies deceptions deceit uh an overall sense of not taking responsibility not being accountable for what you've done so that's showing up again with that ace of wands in reverse you know it's always you know, like nah you know something is not working you feel like something won't work the possibility of it working is very much there but right now you know you're unhappy with this person as i do feel that they're unhappy with you you can kind of see the queen of wands and the six of wands turning in two separate directions so you know, there's a sense of, you know, needing to forgive, trying to let go, doing your best. Forgiving is harder than people would understand, you know, because there if there are resentments and pains that need to be healed, you know, you need to take time away from whoever this person is and then try to find and forgive yourself if you've done anything wrong. So it always starts with us, okay, and how or why we're allowing another person to continuously Hurt us. So staying in a situation or marriage or relationship that's not healthy, you know, that's not a good thing. So, you know, try to reevaluate and then try to, you know, gain your confidence and the courage to face what you need to. And that is uh, a Saturday and Sunday. So from Dorian Virtue, we do have the Romance Angels cards of Make the Effort. It says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Then we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture where you have make the effort. A lot of you, again, are needing to make some changes, make some attempts to clear out older energy so that you can experience something new. Forgive. Try to do your best to forgive so that you can maybe clear the air to work out things in your marriage or relationship. We can start over new. And the universe is presenting you, maybe you've asked for and prayed for a romantic partner or a soulmate of some kind. And if they're presented to you in a way and you continue to reject them or not give it a chance, that's not making the effort, you see. Religious factors could be coming about where your beliefs are challenged. It could be someone from a different spiritual background than you are. There could be... Um, you're different. Maybe you two have completely different beliefs and different philosophies about life, about marriage, about your relationship. And they could have um, been brought about. The religious factors could be coming about where you have parents who are a bit more stern on you about who you can and should and just you shouldn't date in a way. So and we do have express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture, you know, clearly just express how you feel. Go ahead and reach out if you haven't already done so, so that this relationship can be. Uh, peaked in a way can you can rekindle something or you can start something fresh if there's someone new who you like to uh, be more romantically attached to in a way now watch that attachment because those could be blockages as to um, moving forward if you are attached too much codependency could be coming about okay so and i did want to let you know if you would like a private reading you can always come to me via my facebook page or you can email me to set up something that's going to be specific for you much love and much light cancer.